What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Sunday, you guys. So, um, going forward, I may or may not do readings on the weekends, you guys. The weekends may be used for other content. We'll see. So, if I decide not to do weekend uh, readings on weekends, uh, this will be the last Sunday that I do um, reading video. Okay. Um. All right, all Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, y'all. I need to check my subscribers. I forgot to do that. Um, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate y'all so very much, okay? All right, so um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah. With you, Gemini's. Also, my social media is in the description box, y'all. I have no other social medias. None whatsoever. Okay? So, please, 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 please don't get scammed, you guys. So, we have free yourself. This comes out first. So, some of you guys are trying to free yourselves. Lots of other cards here. I'll take the top one, which is Flirt. <coughs> Or this could be like you kind of switching your energy up. I know it's going to be a big thing with all these transits and the retrogrades and all of that. With a lot of you guys like, you know, um, transforming, growing, evolving. But a lot of you are also detaching from things that, you know, aren't serving you or haven't been serving you in the long run. Okay. So getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And we have you deserve love. So. This is interesting because the overall energy isn't really, uh, it's not really aimed at a particular person yet. So, you know, like I said, like I've kind of been picking up for you, you guys are kind of getting to a space of, you know, knowing what you want um, and, and you're willing to wait for that or, you know, you're willing to, you know, get rid of people or pull back or fall back or whatever um, as much as needed, Gemini's, okay? So... Also, how y'all feeling about this conjunction that happened last night? How y'all feel today? Well, <laughs> the King of Cups, could be a Scorpio, the hangman here on the blossom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm seeing somebody uh is expressing some love to you. What five of pentacles? Or you're doing this with someone, the high priestess here on the bottom. Yeah, um, <laughs> Gemini's, this is how we're starting today. So I feel like Gemini's, there is someone here that may want to open up or may want to express something to you, um, or maybe even show you, because the King of Cups isn't very expressive. That's more so the King of Swords. But the King of Cups will show you, you know, show you that they love you or that they care about you or whatever the case may be. Um, it's like someone can't get over you, uh, Gemini's. And someone doesn't like the fact that you are moving on, child. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is a very interesting to, uh, card to get under getting to know each other. So this kind of makes me feel like, Gemini's, you may have more than one person. Some of you have a new energy here, uh, especially seeing the Ace of Wands here on the bottom that is, is going to be like really clingy. Like, I don't know why I keep getting that for you guys, but I feel like some of you guys want to manifest that clingy person that you've always wanted. And then you're going to be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if this is, if I can handle this. Uh, <laughs> Gemini. So yeah, I'm going to look out for, no, why do I keep seeing this? Why do I keep seeing this? The King of Pentacles, the lover sees, some of you got more than one person because the lovers is about a soulmate but the lovers can also be about a choice of some sort mm -hmm. some of you have more than one person like kind of uh pawning for your affection uh gemini's and i feel like it's because you're coming off as very cool very level-headed you're not really pressed on what somebody do is doing or isn't doing even though you were at that point before i feel like at one point you were like um you know, really pressed. I feel like a lot of you guys, you used to like chase, you were heavy into like chasing people and, and, 
um, things like that. And I feel like you've kind of gotten to this space of, you know, if it happens, it happens um, type of thing. Okay, so I'm not really seeing a, a lot of change as far as how this person feels about you, especially if you if you haven't talked to this person in a while. And the last time y'all talked, this person was very into you and things like that. I still I, I feel like that's still the case. Um, Gemini's but uh yeah so also when I was shuffling for you guys I kept seeing the three of swords so like I said I'm not sure uh, and I know that's not gonna resonate with all of you okay so you just have to take what resonates with you and spit out the rest okay um but I do feel like some of you may have more than one person that is kind of pawning for your affection um for your attention and things like that gemini's and you're gonna have to kind of narrow it down to who you want to deal with <sighs> you may be getting away from a scorpio uh you know towards a king of pentacles or two of cups here on the bottom um leaving this, this king of cups behind to go towards the king of pentacles but this king of cups is holding on at least trying to especially energetically Also, for some of you, the King of Cups could be you, so I think that how it resonates. Because I'm seeing, like, you're getting a lot more balance within yourselves, a lot more balance with your emotions and stuff. And I feel like that's, it's very appealing to people, um, Gemini's. You, uh, you coming off as, oh, thank you, Spirit. Queen of Swords on the bottom. What I was going to say was, the world flips over. What I was going to say was, you coming off very cold and detached, Gemini's, even if you're not meaning to be. You may not even mean to come off this way, uh, Gemini's, but I feel like you're coming off this way to people. And but it's just an energy shift for, with you, which was necessary um, for a lot of you, because I feel like a lot of you guys were very, very emotionally invested in something um, and you needed a shift. OK, because you weren't being treated the way that. Uh, you wanted to be treated, uh, Gemini's, and, and the shift was necessary. Now, like I said, with this, I feel like someone wanting to, like, express some type of love to you, express some type of emotion to you. Um, it could be a reconciliation, too, of some sort, um, or whoever is coming up as the King of Cups for you, um, Gemini's. So... So you just wait, Gemini's. If you feel, if you think you're feeling great now, just just hold off. Just hold on. The Emperor. What the hell? All these energies. Okay. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, okay, uh, Gemini's. Some of you gonna meet somebody else. Now, the thing with the with the uh, Five of Pentacles. Sometimes the Five of Pentacles can be a codependency of some sort. Um, could also be like a a. a Someone that sticks it out with you through thick and thin, no matter what, rich, poor, whatever. And I feel like this is what somebody is wanting. Like, I don't know why I keep getting that for you. Why I keep getting you? Because the emperor, even though the emperor is the divine masculine, the emperor can be very, like, set in his ways. But also the emperor, and this could be male or female, the emperor doesn't deal with change well. Okay? Um, that's masculine energy. Masculine energy doesn't deal with change well. Uh, change is, is really feminine energy, okay, because the feminine energy is free-flowing, while masculine energy just sits still. Um, so, and think about the emperor's four, em the emperor's number four, which is a very solid, grounded number, and think about the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles likes things to be the way they are. Uh, the four of pentacles can also be a little possessive, um, and I feel like this is what's going on here. You may have someone here that's a little possessive, that doesn't want things to change, that is like, hey, we we made this this uh, vow, we made this this decision to deal with each other, be with, be together, and this is what we're gonna do. Um, Gemini's. No matter how long you know this person, what the hell? The judgment, yeah. <laughs> Heavy reconciliation here. Now, I'm I'm not sure if this is multiple people, Gemini's, trying to reconcile with you. Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo as well okay a lot of energies here um now they, they could all come in as one energy you know this, this this could be uh one energy the temperance card here uh sag energy 
Uh, yeah, lots of other cards came out with the temperance. And I'm seeing that lovers sticking out over there. So, Gemini's, yeah. You do have somebody here that is wanting to um, come together, mold together. This person wants to incorporate you more into their life. I'm seeing like somebody wants to introduce you to their family and their friends and stuff as well. Um, Gemini's. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> now, what I'm not sure of yet, the lovers again. Now, what I'm not sure of yet, Gemini's, is is this a new energy? Is this a past energy? Is this a, a current energy? That I'm not sure of because I'm seeing all of it. Like, all of it is, is past, present, future. I see all of it. <laughs> It could go either way, like literally six of swords here uh, for a lot of you. Um, Knight of Wands, Sag energy here. Yeah, someone moving to calmer waters, but I also feel like somebody could be freeing themselves from something that could have been holding them back, whether it be family, whether it be, you know, just them not being able to open up and express themselves or whatever the case may be. Um, Gemini's. <clears throat> It may be you too. You may be trying to get out of a connection that where you feel trapped, trapped and restricted. Oh, well then, the Ten of Swords here. I told you. Mm hmm. Now I love this Ten of Swords because it's, it looks like she's been through a lot, and I feel like this is the thing for a lot of you. You've been through a lot um, in your connections and in this one, but this can also be you hitting rock bottom with someone, and they want to come out of it. Like it's like okay. We've been through a lot. Let's let's keep at it. I'm getting choked up again. Let's keep at it. This is what I get with this, uh, Gemini's. But again, this can also be you kind of like, okay, I've given my all to this. I don't know what more I can give to it. Nine of Wands, yeah. Somebody is not trying to release you, Gemini's. Page of Swords, they watch you as well. Ace of Pentacles here on the bottom, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's, I, I'm hearing like, why give up? Like why, it's like someone here doesn't want to give up. Even and the other person does, um, Gemini, and it could be you. Um, or this may have been how you were at one point. At one point you were like, I don't see how this is going to work. I'm kind of over it, kind of done. You know, I want to move on. But whoever this is, it's like, nah, mm -mm. Even if they disappear for a long time, because I feel like this person may have like disappeared on you and and may have like ghosted you gemini's um and then they come back in like wanting things to kind of pick back up where they were and you know mm. child please <laughs> but i do get someone here that that may be a little bit inexperienced with uh with love and relationships um and how they work no matter what their age is gemini's they may not have um the experience to um to uh be in a connection but the page of swords can be about like someone willing to learn so i don't feel like you're dealing with someone that isn't necessarily willing to change i do feel like they are willing to learn gemini's i do feel like they are willing to do better and like i said for some of you this could be a new energy this may not even be um the person on your mind this might be like a whole nother energy here so just be mindful. You meet somebody new, Gemini's, they're not going to just give up. So if you say, okay, yeah, you, you go on a couple dates with this person and this person's, man, listen, when I tell you this person is going to be into you, this person is going to be into you. I mean, very, very much so. I'm surprised the devil card didn't come out. But, you know, you go on a couple dates with them, you decide, uh, I don't think this is going to work. You start seeing, you know, what you perceive as red flags. <laughs> Because like I said, a lot of you guys have been through a lot in your love connections. And you may see things as red flags even when they aren't. Um, Gemini's, this person's going to be like, mm -mm, no, let's talk about it. Let's work it out. Um, you know, so cutting the death I'm seeing, uh, can we start over, please? That's those of you that are dealing with a, a, a new energy. They're going to want to, whoever this is, is going to tough it out with you. No matter what, uh, Gemini's, I felt hurt by your actions slash words. That could be you. It's going to be hard to get this person to budge, move, um, any of that. Heavy reconciliation. And like I said, you may be reconciling with more than one person. 
or one person trying to reconcile and then you meeting someone else but there's just a lot of energies here um in the spread gemini it's 3 a.m by janine so this card this this um song is talking about like can't, i can't get over you she says that over and over in the song so someone can't get over you uh gemini's even if they try um i don't know what you're doing what you're doing to these people gemini's <laughs> now i keep seeing this and i kept seeing this when i was shuffling these uh these cards please tell me what you want i'm telling you this person's willing to fix it if this this goes in line with what i just said if you have any type of complaints with this person new energy included they'll be like okay let's talk about it okay let's what can i do to make it right what can i do to fix it this is this is what i get from this <sighs> gemini's so yeah <laughs> i need this time apart to heal mm -hmm. that makes sense for some of you that could be you uh two gemini's whether you realize that or not because i feel like a lot of you guys have been through a lot in uh in love connections i don't feel good enough for you mm -hmm. that makes sense too with this five of pentacles here with the emperor <clears throat> they may feel like they don't you know have enough going on or don't have enough money or whatever the case may be four 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 we just talked about the number four earlier um gemini's four is a very solid a very solid number long lasting number do I ever by Tony Stiff? <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a while. <laughs> We're not making love no more. This person may communicate with you through music. Because, wow. I won't ever let you go. I told you. I told you, Geminis. It's like any any rebuttal you have, any issue you have with this person, they're going to come back with a solution for it. Okay, if you, you don't like when I do that, I'm going to stop doing it. Okay, you don't like when I say that, I'm going to stop saying it. Like, Period. <laughs> everything i said was genuine mm -hmm. yes i thought i would never lose you yeah for some of you this is a, a past energy or an energy that you're you're trying to get away from uh gemini's i have a surprise for you some of you are, are looking at a divorce too like you're trying to divorce somebody it's always been you and they don't want the divorce <sighs> what about us by eric bellinger lots of songs this person might be really big into music in my feelings about Nija, like lots of music, uh, Gemini's. So yeah, this person may send you a song. Let's make it official. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.